the the coverage when we first saw it on on television reached a a new low. It reached a place that we we hadn't seen or experienced before. Other atrocities have been committed in in the UK and across the world, and you, you, you weren't shown that that kind of that kind of horror. We started to think about the the the, the crime itself, and then the the impact on. Um, the, the the families of those of the perpetrators. We, we we need to be very careful about how we handle these situations. The, the, the word talks about being wise as serpents, yet harmless as doves. The, the, the thing is, and one of the reasons why why we're here today is that we want to build bridges. How how do we together deal with this? Where there, there's some wisdom here in the nation of Islam that we don't have. There's some wisdom that we have that that, that you don't have. Let's deliberately and intentionally and consistently and persistently come together because we can do far more together than we can separately. Um, the, the number of um, major incidents that's taken place over the years, I've lived in London since 1975 and so, sometimes individuals can hijack these, in, in, these incidents for, for their own ends. Um, but let's Let's build a trust quotient between us. Um, we, we need to know where, where you are. We need to know who, who you are and, and how we can develop a force that, um, whether the government or the army or MI5, once they know that we're involved, they have to think twice about it. All right. so. Thank you so much. Um, I want to open by really just giving you a chance to talk about this. I need to because of who's in the room, but this is not our media. This is not our media. If this were our media, we, there wouldn't probably have been the conditions why that young man did what he did in the first place. So I think that's the first place I need to start off from. Secondly, for me, there's something about um, the visual aspect of it, and I think you highlighted it in what you were saying, the visual aspect of it and the, and the openness of it. Because this thing has happened before. And the fact that we, they have troops coming home on a regular basis who've been killed by Afghan insurgents, the fact that there are atrocities and heinous murders happening all across the UK, you know, this idea that there are horrible things happening on a routine basis is not new. But I think the key thing for this discussion is why is it being cast in the way that it is? This, this week, a US soldier who went into a village and murdered 16 children and women you know, that has passed through our media with no response. In Birmingham, a man was killed on his way back from Mars, 75 years old. They now know it was it was a very severe machete attack, you know, and we know now that it was a racist attack. There is no media coverage on that. So we have to recognise that there is a... It's more than a bias. It's more than a bias about... And it's more about... It's more, it's, it's more than inappropriate reporting because of an agenda right. here. That's right. The next point for me is what the media has done quite, quite happily is reinforce some common, widely held, but completely misguided views about black communities and different communities. First of all, Muslims are a threat and a concern. Secondly, black people are a threat and concern. Uh, thirdly, they are wild and you are at risk. You know, this idea, and, and then after you have the drama, the kind of the sensationalising of the images, you have the calming voices, the, the flowers and all the rest of the stuff, which, which needs to be done because the way that guy lost his life, I would hate for anyone I knew or loved to be in that situation. So please don't hear that I don't have empathy or concern for what happened. But in terms of the media response and what it means for our communities, for me it reminds us of a number of things. I think the first thing is that we still have a huge, huge journey to take in terms of having anything that looks like appropriate reporting. Secondly, even when we see inappropriate reporting, there's very little response. We don't formally challenge these institutions. There are people that would say there is no point and what we need to do is create our own things. But while they're still creating messages about me and the people who I know and care about, I feel there needs to be a response there. But secondly, and I think that there is a key point here, which is about the underlying issues. There is a reason why it happened, which we do not want to discuss. For me, that is the elephant in the room that hasn't truly been explored. And do I think that thing will happen again? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I do believe there will be people who will, take, who will go and re find an avenue for their frustration, their aggression about things that are happening within our society, in our name, with our taxpayers' pound. And I think unless we start to have some of that real dialogue, we'll be here again. Thank you so much.